Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Project Ozone. So, since last episode, I ran into a bit of an issue. Um, when I was crafting Singularities, um, specifically, if we open this up, I've got some completed quests, we'll go through that in just a second. But when I was crafting up Singularities, once I got to Enderium, Diamond, Emerald, stuff like that, I found that with our current system, we cannot automate those. <laughs> Uh, basically, it's too much bedrock going into, because you're talking like a stack um, and more for, especially like the diamond and emerald. Um, diamond, if I recall, it is 68 bedrock to make one singularity. So due to that, we cannot automate that in our original setup, our original plan. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and I was like, okay, well, this isn't going to work. So we'll have to change something up because basically what happens is the alchemical chest just kind of locks down now, I know it was mentioned in the comments before about that, you know happening When you feed it too much EMC Making those singularities that is the point of too much EMC So I've decided to you know I was originally going through and I was automating everything and then I tore down all the interfaces and I was like Well, what if I try like export buses or something, but I was thinking, and since I can't automate things how I was originally planning on it, I think I am going to just rush for the wand of animation. Or the, uh, yeah, the wand of animation. Um, because I know that was brought up in the comments, that wasn't my original intention, because I wanted to kind of automate those things as we went, and have them all, you know, click to craft kind of things. But since those alchemical chests just pretty much locked down on me, and I can't, I cannot do it that way, we're just going to change over the whole plan, I guess. I ran into that issue a lot in this pack, where... Things, things just don't work out as intended, you know, due to things like that. Um, that's why this whole base has been moved and everything. It's because things just don't work out as I intend for them to. Um, but anyways, we have some completed quests here. First up, we do have Enderium Singularities. So we get a reward bag for that. And then we also have Diamond Singularities. So we got a reward bag for that. These are both legendaries. Let's go ahead and open those. Security desk, Emmy security terminal, and then lily pads of fertility. Not even remotely useful. Um, also, we finished our final quest in Lambda. So this whole quest tab is done. And we'll go ahead and grab this reward bag here. Legendary. Two light oxygen tanks. Eh, not terribly useful. <laughs> I don't even care. Um... <laughs> And then, last up, Gamma. I went ahead and off camera, I just went ahead and completed all those quests. Now, one thing interesting, the Angel Ring, you only have to get one of those. You don't actually have to get all five of them. So it's not as bad as I originally thought. Uh, the first one that I crafted was the golden one. So that's what we've got. And we'll go ahead and grab that reward bag. Also, the food, the culinary generators. Completed those. That. That. And then combustion engine. Let me look at my, okay, I'm still good on inventory space. Um, the endo quarry, go ahead and grab that. Fl uh, floodgates, if you recall, we actually used one of those a while back, but I went ahead and crafted the other two of those. And then quarry upgrades, there's that. Okay, so this, this tab is all done. So all we have left in the book is Zeta, Kappa, Mu, and Nu. Okay, um... That's just Avaridia stuff. Kappa is just basically the rest of this stuff. And then Zeta is, of course, solar panels and stuff that we're... Some of this stuff we're going to be using. Now, some of this stuff, like lava fabricator, planters, uh, sludge boilers, I don't see myself using those. I don't really care about the sludge. I'll just trash it. It's not a big deal, but... Uh, some of this stuff down here we're going to be using... Uh, specifically, but let's go ahead and open up our reward bags. We got two basics, uh, a bunch of junk, and an amulet of growth junk. And then we got four good bags, starfield creator, portal gun, some lanterns, uh, glowstone glass walls, and then we have two graders with soap and basic bins. Okay. A bunch of junk. Now, one thing interesting to note is the Starfield Creator, those actually stack. So if I was to throw another one of these down, it's not nighttime right now, but it would actually be like double the stars. And in my experience, I don't know if it's been fixed, but I remember when these first came out, if you placed down too many of them, like it would lag your world so bad. 
Uh, I mean, two of these, it's not going to have any effect, but I mean, if you place down a bunch of them, <laughs> it gets a little bit laggy, but uh, I, w I was placing down a lot of them, though, uh, when I was playing with them. It was just in a test world. It was a long time ago, but um, <laughs> they're quite interesting, though, if you have a bunch of them out. Um, but anyways, so today we're going to start rushing towards the Wand of Animation. Okay, now we will do some automation as we go along that path because um, I would like to still automate things like the uh, the raw meat ingot. We're going to have to automate that. Raw mutton because that's actually not craftable. Like this stuff we have being crafted with pig essence, fish. Uh, we will have to get fish, which is fine. I mean, I could just EMC it, which I might do. I don't know. <laughs> Um, the meat ingots we'll have to get, the raw imp hide we'll have to get. Technically, I could just EMC it. I might just EMC it. I don't know. Um, but most of the stuff we have being crafted. And then, in addition, we're going to have to get the tree-based crops from Pam's Harvest Craft and the berries and stuff like that. We're going to have to get those things in place and automated. So anyways, first up, I think the first thing that I want to do, let's pop over to Venus. I'm going to steal a compressor and some translocators, basically one of our setups up here. Um, which you'll notice the interfaces are actually broken off of these. I was doing a bunch of work trying to figure out what to do with this. Couldn't get anything to work. So right now the system's just not working. <laughs> so just a heads up. Let's go ahead and grab that. Whoops, whoops, I'm breaking everything here. Okay, and then let's pop back over to, I guess we'll go back to the overworld. And we're just going to go ahead and make up a bunch of singularities so we can get our first eternal singularity and finish out all the singularity quests within Mu. Okay, that's kind of my goal at the moment. But it was like, I, I did a bit of testing in this world. I went into a test world, did a bit of testing. I mean, the, I can get it to work. It's not as pretty as I was hoping or as like, compact, concise. And, you know, before with the iron singularities and stuff, it worked perfectly. It worked like a charm. But these other ones, it's just like, no, it's not It's not how I want it to work, you know. Um, but let's get ourselves just a block of emerald. Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't do it that way. So let's just grab that. And then I want a bit of bedrock. And we'll go ahead and get a block of emerald real quick. Throw that into there. Oh, whoops. See, this is what happens. Basically, it doesn't make any blocks of emerald because I put in too many, too much bedrock at once. Basically, what happens. So that whole block of, that whole stack of bedrock is just wasted. And I, honestly, I got tired, like, I get tired of the finicky aspect of these alchemical chests, or these uh, energy condensers. So, oh man, you can put like, I think you can safely put like a half stack, seems to be about where it's at. Um, for some reason it's not pumping that out though. You know what it is? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Put that there. Alchemical chests can only pull out from the bottom. So, there we go. If you recall, we had an issue when we were trying to set up the multiple alchemical chests to the neutronium compressors. And I was like, well, maybe the neutronium compressor doesn't accept items except from the, uh, what was it, the top, I think. But no, uh, or the it was the side. Okay, yeah. So, okay, then that's the case. The neutronium compressor will only accept items from the top. Because we tried moving things from the side, it did not work. So, yeah, neutronium compressor only accepts from the top. Okay. That seems to be the case. I know I tried pumping, you know, with item conduits and different things. I tried pumping things into the neutronium compressor. It did not work. Um, unless it was from the top, then it worked fine. So, yeah, it does seem like the neutronium compressor can only accept items from the top then. But anyways, let's take a look at the rod. And this thing, it's going to be fairly expensive, okay? Um, I'm probably not going to make all the singularities on camera just due to the amount that it's going to take. And I don't know if I want to set up like a temporary 
semi-automated system for this, or if I just want to do it this way. Honestly, with the way the alchemical chests work, oh, it's such a headache. Such a headache. Um, I will say, as far as Project Ozone goes, I actually enjoyed the pack a lot more before hitting the Singularity stage. I think the Singularity stage of Project Ozone was kind of like, I don't know about this, because it just takes such mass quantities of stuff that nothing can handle it. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just ridiculous. Um, but for this, we're going to need four infinity ingots. Okay. And then we've also got some loose singularities here. Not a big deal. These are all very easy. We've got a lot of these. But if we take a look at each infinity ingot, that's going to require eight, nine, ten, eleven infinity catalysts each. So you're looking at 44 infinity catalysts and then 45 on this. So 45, decently expensive. And then for each infinity catalyst, of course, we're going to need all this stuff. Eternal singularities, 45 of every singularity is basically what we're looking at to get this in place. Okay. And then we've also got a little bit of automation along the way for all that meat stuff. Probably runes. We'll probably want to automate those. Um, that's the major things. Imp leather we'll have to automate. That's not a big deal. Um, actually, imp leather doesn't have an EMC value, so we definitely will be automating imps. It's not really a big deal. It's just making a spawner. But yeah, so we're going to need 45 of each of these singularities. Now, we'll say once we get the wand of animation, it's going to be easy to get the uh, infinity ingots after that. Now, we're still going to need eternal singularities for making uh, the chaos catalysts or the Chaos Singularities, or whatever they're called. It's not as bad. You're going to use a lot of those, but not nearly as much as, like, Infinity Ingots and stuff like that. Um, plus, we'll be able to get some really nice things once we have a bunch of Infinity Ingots. Okay, but there's our first Emerald Singularity. Whooped. And we can go ahead and turn that quest in. I'd like to finish out this whole little section of quests real quick. Uh, we get a reward bag. Next up is Steel. Now, this one won't be nearly as bad, honestly. So we can either go with Immersive Engineering or Tinker's Construct. They're pretty much the same thing. I don't think blocks... Haha, -ha, you can make blocks of steel. Okay. Well, anyways, we'll switch that out then. And then we're going to have to break this every time that we change over singularities. And not all singularities have a quest, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, we're still going to need them, of course. Um, anyways, I'm going to throw in... I'm actually going to throw in, like... I don't know, like 20 of these, and just let it make as many singularities as it can. So, and while that's running, let's go ahead and open this reward bag. We got a rolled up newspaper and a whetstone, and we're just going to kind of work on those as we go through today's episode, I think. And we'll change out the singularity, and then I'll make a bunch off camera, because I mean, right now, I've got, I've got enough nether quartz singularities. I've got enough lapis, mana infused, I've almost got enough redstone, sig I mean, a lot of these... I've got enough of, or near enough of. Um, but a lot of this is just going to take time, honestly, to make all this stuff. Actually, there's our steel singularity. We got three more lily pads of fertility. Oops. And the next one they're going to want us to get is sapphire, which we'll do that in a minute once that's done running and everything. So, anyways, the first thing that we're going to go for, I think, is the... I guess we'll go for the Cosmic Meatballs first. Okay, so for this, we're going to need a few things. First up is Raw Imp Hide, Raw Mutton, Raw Meat Ingots. It's a bunch of spawner-based stuff. Then we're also going to need some fish, which um, I think I'm just going to EMC those, honestly. But I'll tell you what we do have. We do have a Clownfish, Nemo. Um, so we're going to use this Clownfish, and I believe... Yeah, this one is an alchemy catalyst. I'm going to go ahead and change it into a puffer fish. Then we can change it into a fish. And there we go. So we've got ourselves a fish. Let's go ahead and EMC this said fish. <clears throat> and let's get just, I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit overkill, honestly. But there you go. Give us lots of fish. Actually, we don't even need that block of bedrock. All right. Lots of fish. Okay. Okay. So now we've got enough fish that that's done. I mean, we've got enough fish to last us for a while, honestly. 
All right, so next up, we're going to need imps, and we're going to need sheep. Okay, because that's the only thing on this list, aside from the meat ingots, that I do not have. Um, now, I guess, technically, I could just EMC the raw mutton. Imp hide, I'm going to have to get that in the spawner, because we're going to need um, the imp leather. So, we might as well go ahead... And I'm going to go ahead and actually just go for both of them. We'll make a spawner for a sheep. We'll make a spawner for an imp. Okay. Eh, maybe. We'll see. Probably going to make both of them just because. Um, but anyways, we're going to have to pop into the nether first up to go get ourselves an imp. So let's see if we can find one real quick. And I need to be grabbing like the stingberries. I'm going to go ahead and grab these bushes as we, as we pass through here. Because we're going to need berry bushes for... I don't believe there's any way to get those, like an easier way, is there? Aha, tainted soil. And that's actually how we're going to have to get some of our saplings. However, I believe I can make a market. I don't think I'm going to... Oh, you can't make a market. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's not really a big deal because we can make tainted, uh, tainted soil. Um, I think I'm going to want all those yeah that should be enough of those because we're gonna have to do a small little berry setup so anyways there is our imp soul vial and i'm not gonna worry about the other berries because we're probably going to come across them well here's i know that's that's a sapling never mind what is this dusk berry okay i'm gonna go ahead and grab that as well because we're gonna need that um but then let's head on back to the overworld now we're just gonna go have to find ourselves a sheep just to make a sheep spawner because mutton it's not craftable with sheep essence and that's like the one the only thing that we're not crafting with our essences actually i tell you what instead of flying around here because i'm not seeing like any passive creatures let's just go to kepler kepler tends to have more animals in my experience than the overworld does so we'll just come here and we'll probably find a sheep fairly quickly, honestly. I had them, like, all over me when I was trying to build. Yep, look at that. <laughs> like, five seconds in, you find a sheep. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's head on back to the overworld. We're going to make um, a couple spawners, I guess. And then we'll have to get soul vials. I mean, not soul vials, but uh, souls. From Draconic Evolution. So let me get... And actually, i tell you what. While we're here, let's go ahead and set up our Slaughterhouse setup. Okay. And I think I'm going to set it up... Actually, in this room with the zombies. We'll go ahead and put it into here. So let me... Slide into here. We're just going to set the Slaughterhouse up. Well... Because we've got this extra bit of space I would like to use. So we'll put it right there. And then let's give it some power. Let me grab that. Because I'd like to get that those raw meat ingots being made. And we'll give that some power. And you can see it's already getting meat and pink slime. So it's great. And I believe there's already slots for that on Pluto, if I recall correctly. But Okay, and let's get ourselves an obelisk. A tractor obelisk. One of these. And we're going to need an enticing crystal. Alright, let's go make our imp soul vial. Or soul spawner. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to think of. Uh, let me get a broken spawner. What all do we have in here? Chickens? Skeletons? Endermen? Honestly, I may use Erebus beetles. No. i tell you what, I think I'm going to use skeletons for the uh, the meat grinder thing. So we'll get that set up in just a moment. So let's go ahead and pop on down here. Let's throw in our broken spawner and our imp soul vial. Okay, 20 levels. And I'm not going to do both of these on camera. We've done these plenty of times, but we'll go ahead and get this one set up and start getting imp souls, I guess. Oh yeah, this isn't running anymore, is it? Okay, let me move this. I forgot that doesn't have power anymore. There's our imp spawner. And we'll just get this converted. 
And we'll change that over so we have an imp spawner. Okay, so we got our imp spawner. Let me go ahead and throw that into there so that I can get started running. And it should have power. It should still be configured, I should think. Uh, let me double check real quick. Okay, yeah, it's spawning right now. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And... Oh, yeah, I'm going to need a, oh, an imp soul vial. Give me another travel anchor. Conduit binder, pulsating crystal. I have an idea that I want to implement here. And I tell you what, I also want some stained glass. Because I'm going to have to repair this stuff. Light blue, sounds good. Okay, there we go. Um, it crashed when I tried to craft light blue stained glass. Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to pop in here and I'm going to put down a travel anchor. Because in situations like this where I summon the mob and I don't have the enticing crystal or the soul vial or any of that, I want to be able to uh, pop in here and just grab that. Okay? So now I have a travel anchor. If I want to, I can teleport to it. Now this, I should still be able to... Access our, there we go. Okay, and we're going to throw in an imp soul vial. Okay, so the imp should be getting pulled over there, and we're getting their souls now. Awesome. And we've actually already got one. Whooped. <laughs> Did not take long at all. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves an, a skeleton soul. I was about to say an imp soul. Um... And we're going to put an enticing crystal. Let's put that just right. Uh, oh, I didn't make the uh, obelisk, did I? Okay. Tractor obelisk. There we go. And we're going to set that up right here. And that should actually be killing them off right now. Yeah, and getting meat. And I want to use skeletons partially because it just makes no sense at all. Like, it makes no sense that skeletons are dropping meat for us. <laughs> That's why I want to use it, uh, specifically. But let's go ahead and put down our mob spawner. Um, yeah, we'll put it right here. And then let's go ahead and upgrade it with a few things. Um, let's say... Nether Star... only have almost 700,000 of those. We've actually got a bunch of imp leather. I mean, technically I could not do the imp setup right now, but I, I want to go ahead and do it, right? Um, and then we're also going to want a golden apple. Nope, it's a notch apple. There we go. And then... Honestly, this is enough, because this thing's not the fastest thing in the world. There's not really a whole lot of reason to upgrade it any further. So let's go ahead and put in our skeleton soul. And I'm going to need a soul vial. I might actually need two, because it's spawning, it looks like it's spawning wither skeletons right now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need another core. I'm going to need a, we'll get a wyvern core. Because this is just way too slow. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some skeleton spawns. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw in a... Did it seriously get, like, dropped on the ground or something because of all these loot bags? Let me just grab one of these guys. Skeleton soul vial. And let's go ahead and give this power. So there we go. Device is linked. And... I think that's everything that I need over here. So let's go ahead and pop on through... Let me grab this. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the wither skeletons. I just, I think they're going to be uncommon enough that's not going to matter too much. And hopefully that'll be enough that that, uh, that thing can run non-stop, I should think. So let's get ourselves an ender tank. And white, 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 that's fine. Let me dump all this stuff out. And we're just going to plug this up on the back of the back of this thing. Let me find where it's at. It should be two from the end. 
if I put it right down there, is that going to... Yeah, it's getting all the meat and stuff. Okay, great. That's what I want to see. That's getting all the pink slime and all the meat from that setup. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to get ourselves a meat packager. Let me pop back over to the overworld real quick. Um, and then here in a minute, once we get our sheep soul, I'm going to change that over off camera. I'm not going to do that on camera since we've done those enough times. But uh, then we'll set up those two spawners, get the mutton and the imp stuff going. Then we'll have everything that we need for our meatballs now. Okay. Um, but we're going to have to get ourselves a meat packager from Mine Factory Reloaded. And this is actually very, very cheap to make. It does require a bucket of fire water. That's the only thing I can think of that I may have to get. I'll tell you what, I need some bricks. So let me let me just EMC these. Okay, so there we go. We got enough bricks. I've got tons of bricks now. Uh, and then let me get a bucket. And we'll go get that bucket of fire water. Um, let's pop over to Pluto. There we go. Bucket of fire water. And I think that's everything that we're going to need. We're also, I mean, aside from stuff that I just clicked to make. So there's our machine chassis. Um, and then the meat packager. Let's go ahead and shift that in. Okay, I'm going to need some plastic sheets. And that's it. Um, let's go ahead and get a hundred of these. There we go. Meat packager. Whooped. Okay. And then let me get a few more ender tanks. Let me get... Uh, actually, I just need one of these. Because I think all the meat that we have coming in, I don't think there's any other use for liquid meat aside from just making meat ingots. Yeah, just meat packer. There we go. That's all there is to it. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's pop over to Pluto once more. And we should have a barrel... It's filled with meat. Let me go ahead and switch out um, these air tanks real quick. Okay, meat right here. Let's get some pink dye. Let's go with... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just going to go white, pink, white, I think. So white, pink, white. And we'll say that you can extract, always active. And there we go. That's starting to fill up with meat. Okay. And then what I want to do is, let's just pop over to Venus. And right here is this autocaster setup that pumps into that. I think I'm going to use that. And we'll just have the meat packager. Um, we'll have that setting right there. Let me actually go underneath this here. And let's get just a few conduits. Um, actually, I had some. Never mind. And we'll just run that over to the ender chest. We'll say that you can insert and you're going to be able to extract. But before we have that set to auto extract, let's go ahead and set up this. And we're going to say you are white, pink, white and automatically export. So there we go. It can create meat now. And I believe, where does it put the meat? Does it put it into a chest? Okay, there we go. Raw meat ingots. Awesome. And let me go ahead and actually connect up power to this as well. Um, close this off real quick. And we'll just give this a little bit of power. There we go. And so now that can be producing meat for us all the time. Okay. And then I'm just going to pop over to um, Saturn. And I'm just going to set this into a deep storage drawer. Um, is the main thing that I want to do. So I think we're just going to put this into miscellaneous items, I guess. <laughs> doesn't at the end of the day it doesn't really matter where it goes but uh, I guess that makes sense it's just chunks of raw meat is what it is so we'll go ahead and throw that into there let's get ourselves a storage bus and we'll just put that on there and there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the meat ingots in the system throw that into there just so they're all in one place okay so meat ingots that's done awesome and now what I have to do is I'm going to have to pop over to Uranus, pull up the um, that imp spawner, and I'm going to have to change it over to the sheep spawner. Okay. And get a sheep soul and all of that. So I'll be back in a minute. I think, let me see how many imp souls we have. We have four. That's plenty. Let's go ahead and break that off. There we go. And looks like this is done. I'm going to go ahead and throw those back into there. 
And so I'll be back in a minute once I get that sheep spawner set up and we have some sheep souls um, in the system and all of that. And then we'll get those set up real quick and then we'll be ready to make our classic meatballs. Isn't that right? what it is? Classic meatballs or something like that? Cos I'm sorry, cosmic meatballs. <laughs> uh, but I'll be back in a minute once that's ready to go. Okay, and by the way, our Sapphire Singularities, I'm making extras of those. I actually already have one or two in the system, I can't recall. Um, well, did it count the one? Okay, maybe it didn't count it before. Sometimes it doesn't count things and I have to actually open them up, open up the, uh, the quest book with it in my inventory. Um, but anyways, Sapphire Singularities. So all we have left is Electrotene and Titanium um, to finish out, at least to finish out those quests, right? So let's go ahead. We got two diamond apples. All right. And I did get the souls that we need. We have one sheep soul. And for some reason, those did not want to go, like, they didn't want to get pulled in by the enticing crystal or the attractor obelisk, I mean. For some reason, they just weren't even interested in it. And we'll get our imp soul. And then let's go ahead and get, I've got our two golden apples. And let's go ahead and get two wyvern cores. I'm not going to worry about awakened cores. We're going to be producing more than enough of this stuff, uh, which is the wyvern core. And then let's also go ahead and get nether stars. Okay. And then what I'm going to want is grinders from Draconic Evolution mob grinders. Now these require four wyvern cores each, a little bit of that HOP graphite. And for the grinder, I've actually got in here somewhere, right here, the grinder from Mine Factory Reloaded. Because we do need that to craft the grinders. And what we're going to do is we're just going to EMC these. Um, so let's go ahead and throw that into there. And there we go. We got ourselves four grinders. So that's good. Okay. And that one's actually configured and all that mess. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw this one just into here. Or not into here, but into here. So that we've always got one on hand uh, for duplication. And there's 22 more of them. For like a couple nether stars, it's like 22 grinders. And then we're also going to need eight cores, eight wyvern cores. So let me go ahead and get those ordered. There we go. And then HOP graphite, which I haven't set up the recipes for that. So let's pop over to, um, I guess let's pop over to Venus first. And we're going to set up the recipes for the cold coke production just really, really quick. Um, since I haven't done those on camera, I figure we might as well. Uh, first up, we have over here this. Well, that's actually... Yeah, it's producing cold coke. Oh, yeah, I'm not pumping out the cold coke. So export bus, making coal. And then um, I think we're just going to have, say, an item conduit right there. And it's just going to pump over to this. that will say that you can insert you can extract and it's going to pull all the cold coke out now creosote oil that's something i'm gonna have to deal with real quick let me just get an ender tank i believe creosote oil has already got a spot if i recall correctly we'll find out pretty quickly if it does or doesn't uh, but we'll just put this on the back side here well actually that's not auto pulling out of there so let me get uh just conduit i didn't know if the ender tank would be able to pull out on its own or not but that's fine. Extract always active. There we go. All the creosote's gone. Okay. So that's back up and running now, which is great. And then let's get uh, a piece of this coal coke. And let me actually get a couple pieces of this. And first up, we're going to say that if you take coal coke and you throw it into the crusher, a piece of this coke dust. And then if you take... Well, it's eight pieces of coke dust, so let me get, uh, I'll just do eight more of them. Okay, there's eight more pieces of coke dust, because I'm going to want to set up the recipes for this. And then if you do eight pieces of coke dust and send them through the industrial squeezer, this stuff's already set up for automation, it just hasn't been done yet, so... All right, let's pop over to Eris, because that's just going to finish running, and it's going to go right into the system and make that HLP graphite. So first up, we're going to say that if you take coal coke, you're going to get coke dust, encode that. 
and then if you take eight pieces of coke dust then you're gonna get one piece of this HLP graphite dust and then lastly if you take HLP graphite and you smelt it I'll have to come back but we'll put that into there then let's pop back over to Venus there's the crusher recipe here is the HLP graphite dust and then we just have to smelt it so we'll just throw this into a furnace real quick there we go and there you go that's how you get HLP graphite easy enough and I figured we'd go ahead and automate that on camera just because we haven't actually done recipes with it so um or you know on camera before but let's go ahead and get ourselves like three more pieces of this HLP graphite and then for the mob grinder itself I think that's everything that we're gonna need right so we're just waiting on that HLP graphite which really I think the main thing that's gonna take that a minute is the industrial squeezer part of it so there we go and we'll get both of our mob grinders Woot. Okay, so now I think we've got everything that we're going to need. Um, oh, I, those two nether stars that I had earlier, those were actually meant for this. <laughs> okay, so let's pop on over to um, Uranus. And I guess we're going to start working on... We'll drop down a level and come down here. Okay, um, we're going to do a mob grinder right here. And a mob grinder right here and then let me grab this I can't remember if it's I don't think it's still bound here I think it's bound to the meat package here right or bound on Venus so let me grab that and we'll just plug that up plug that up and then I guess to handle this I'm just gonna use vacuum chests they're easy enough I think that'll be fine well technically I'm gonna have Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with, um, actually, Vacuum Hopper, because it'll, that'll handle the XP and the, uh, items, and I th think it should have enough range, I believe, to cover this whole area, I should think. Yeah, I guess we'll find out, but let's get an Ender Tank, we'll get, like, two of those. And then we'll get two ender chests. And I'm just going to put the ender tank down like right. Actually, where's my stabilized spawners? Let me grab those. Two of these. And we'll put these like one right here. And then we'll have one right here. Um, vacuum hoppers. We'll put one vacuum hopper... Um, yeah, we'll put it right there, I think. And then we'll put the other one right here. And I think that should cover the whole room, I should hope. We'll find out <laughs> in just a moment. <clears throat> um, but we're going to do the ender chest on the front side, maybe? No. Let's actually do the ender chest on the side. Ender chest on the side. And then we'll do the ender tank uh, here and right here. Okay. And then XP, let me blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> XP will be on this side. Items will be on uh, on this side. So there we go, and then the same thing over here, we'll do items on this side, XP on this side, and that should be good. Now, if I recall correctly, I have a specific XP line, right? I cannot recall the colors of it. I believe there should be a connection right back there. Um, I believe it's like green... White, green, white, right, for the input? I've got it written down somewhere, but I've got, like, a ton of, like, notes all around, so I'll never find it, I'm sure. 
uh, white, green, white. Okay, for whatever reason it crashed when I tried to, when I typed C <laughs> a second ago, so, because I was going to get some cactus green. Alright, but anyways, let's go white, green, white, and then white, green, white, and there we go. I think we're all set up now. So, let's go ahead and throw in, um, we'll throw in the imps, the imp soul over there and the sheep soul over here. Then let's go ahead and upgrade that. Nether star, nether star, wyvern core, wyvern core, and golden apple, golden apple. Which really, I don't know, like, spawn requirement, I don't really need that, I don't think, for these mobs, but, eh, whatever. Alright, but we can see that we just got a bunch of, uh, there's mutton coming in, there's imp hide, um, some of the pieces are getting thrown off over here, I don't really mind it, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and close this up. And if we take a look here, we have, well, we had a bunch of impide already, but we have, um, not sheep, mutton, 17. Um, now, I already have deep storage set up for both of these, but let's go ahead and pop back over to the overworld, and I think we're all set now to make our cosmic meatballs. I believe we have everything that we need for that. So let's go ahead and pull up that. Uh, we're going to need piles of neutrons, first up. So let's get... Neutron. Let me get one stack of those. Okay. And then we're also going to need chicken. We'll get two stacks of those. Um, we are going to need, let's see, uh, raw pork chop, raw beef, raw fish. So we'll get two stacks of pork chops, two stacks of beef. And two stacks of fish. And I'm going to go ahead and start laying some of this stuff out. And then we just need raw imp hide, raw meat, and raw mutton. Okay. So imp hide, there's two stacks of that. Um, raw meat ingots, there's two stacks of that. And I'm really just waiting on mutton to kind of build up right now. So let's go ahead, throw that in there. This actually isn't that expensive of a craft. Okay, give me a minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, you know what? I see what it is. My bad. I need tiny piles of neutrons. Not neutron ingots. Okay, um, I've lost my mind. Forgive me. Okay, there we go. Cosmic meatballs. Okay, how much more mutton do I have at the moment? 54 more. Let me go ahead and grab that. And then we'll get what we can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait on the those other, like, 19 pieces of mutton just so that I can get two full stacks of cosmic meatballs. And then, really, I think that's going to hold us over for a while. Not forever, but for a while, anyways. Okay, and if we open this up, we should have a quest completed now. In Mew. Cosmic meatballs. We'll go ahead and get our reward bag. A good bag. With a compact giant chance cube. Awesome. And actually, let's take a look. I know I'm going to have to make more singularities between episodes. I'm just trying to knock out the quests at the moment. Um, Electrotain is the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a block of that. And then let's get... Honestly, one piece of bedrockium should do it. Okay, so that's starting to run. Good. And let's see, next up is the Prime Evil Brew, the Ultimate Stew. Um, this crafts nine at a time. So the crafts will go a long ways. But we're going to start needing some of these fruit-based crops, okay? We've got, like, cherries that only grow on trees. We've got all these blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all that stuff. Can uh, candleberries are a little bit different. Actually, we can use the Pam's Harvest Craft ones. So we'll probably use those as far as the berries go. Um, however, we are going to need, like, skyberry. We're going to need, um, I believe, bl there's blackberry, stingberry, and I'm sure duskberry is on here somewhere. Yeah, right here. So we're going to need all the different, like, Natura berries. Um, oh, there's our Electrotain. Let me go ahead and turn that in real quick. And we got a Golden Apple. Woody doody. Let's go ahead and get Titanium running. 
Um, I don't imagine... Oh, that does make an, a, a block. Okay. But we'll get a block of that, and then we'll get like three pieces of bedrock, and we'll be able to get our last singularity for a quest. Now, like I said, I mean, like, charcoal isn't on the list for, like, the achievements. We're still going to need that stuff, but we'll get that a little bit later on. Do I have my mutton that I need now? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and get this crafted the rest of the way. And there we go. Two stacks of cosmic meatballs. Easy as pie. Okay, so I don't... We don't have time to do the trees and the berry setups today. So I'm going to just go for the berries, I think, for right now. Well, I've got stingberry and duskberry. I tell you what, it, honestly, it might be quicker. What do I need for tainted soil? Which water... Honestly, it may be quicker this episode, just pop in the nether, fly around for five seconds and find the last two berries. Oh, here we go. Here's Skyberry. Just one of the bushes, though, but I can always, I can spread it with just one bush, so it's really not a concern. And there's Blightberry. Okay, so we have all the berry bushes. That actually did not take long at all. Like, at all. Um, let me go ahead and take that Duskberry, too. Might as well. Really, I don't think I'm going to need that much duskberry, but uh, that's okay. All right, well, first thing I want to do is I want to pop over to Saturn, and I want to set up deep storage for all the berries, because we're going to need it. Realistically, we are going to need it. And just bam, 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 bam. And we'll throw in, say, blightberry in this one. We'll do duskberry in that one. Stingberry skyberry and then just get our storage buses and then we'll just put those along the top here and there we go okay so that's set up we have berry storage in place so let's pop back over to the overworld i'm actually going to steal our old experience setup for the the bushes because that's got to get moved um i'll probably move it after this episode actually because we'll have kind of like a little berry station uh, over on Ceres, but for right now I'm just going to steal this, so let's grab that, there it is, okay, got to remember exactly where it was at, alright, harvester, and then we'll just pop over to Ceres and Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to build a really dense berry area, <laughs> more or less. So we'll just pop up stairs, and I think we'll put it right up here. Let's see, that's a bronze upgrade. I'm going to want a, probably a better upgrade. This area is a 15 by 15. So we're going to go for 612 uh, silver. We're going to go for the silver upgrade, in fact. Actually, between episodes, I'll probably automate all those upgrades, because we're going to be needing a few of those over the next, like, well, mainly the next episode. And I really don't want to have to be tier crafting those up. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to be doing that at all, so I will probably get those automated. Alright, but let's lay ourselves out, because I'm going to put the berries just up here. Like, basically, two of these planter sections, one's going to be, like, essence berries, the other one's just going to be nether berries. We don't really need the metal berries or any of that mess, so let me get one of these. And we'll just lay it out like that. And then let's put our harvester down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. And that should cover this entire area once we give it that silver upgrade. Tell you what, I don't still have my hammer, do I? Uh, precision sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. Quest complete? Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to cover that whole area. So, that's great. Go ahead and connect this up with power now. And there we go. That's got power and it's running. Um, okay. Okay. And then all we have to do is just plant our crops. So, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'll tell you what. I'm going to do just rows. It doesn't really matter. Um, oh, yeah. I can't. It's not dirt that I need here. It's netherrack. And I think I'm just going to do this in rows. Um, 
and I think the outside's going to be covered. So let's go with uh, like blight berries. We'll just do these along the outer edge, just like that. And then let me go ahead and do some sky berries. We'll put these like just like that. And then we'll start our rows. So I'm going to do. Um, let's see. This is stingberry. So I'm just going to run it across like that. I mean, these are going to grow three high, and it's going to be producing way more berries than we're going to need. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, I could make this like super dense and get a ton of berries being produced, but it really, you know, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> and then we'll do our dusk berries, and I will plant more uh, sky berries once we have more bushes. But these these work just like the berry bushes from Natura, or you know, the standard overall berries. So, after a little bit, they're going to grow and create more berries on top of them and all that good stuff. So, okay. We'll do like that. And then I'm going to reserve the rest of this for Skyberry. And that'll be fine, I guess. I might do something like that. And then we'll do Skyberries in the center there. And that's, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I don't know why I'm, I'm worrying about it that much. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter. Um, but let's go ahead and get ourselves an ender chest. And actually, this is going to be producing some sludge, too. I'm going to have to... I'll probably just do a fluid trash can. I don't even feel like messing with the sludge. I don't use it for anything. It doesn't really... It doesn't really matter what we do with it. So... Let's see. If I recall correctly, this has to pump out of the back. I think. So we'll just bring out a pressurized fluid conduit and item conduit. We'll say that you can extract all these active. You can extract all these active. Okay. We'll put our fluid trash can right there. We'll say that you can insert. And then we'll put our ender chest down right there and you can insert. Okay. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's set up and that's ready to go um, once these berries are grown anyways. And I'm going to go ahead and get some glowstone, just light this area up a little bit. So we'll throw like one piece down right there. And one piece down right there, and that should be good, honestly. Now when these berries grow up a bit, it may hide the light, but I'll deal with that later. Um, if that becomes an issue. Okay, so I left this running for a little bit. It slowly grew a little bit. <laughs> Still a long ways from being done, um, honestly. Uh, now, one thing that came that I noticed when I was looking through the recipes here is if we take a look at the stew, um, mallow berry. We actually have to have mallow berries. Okay, the rest of these are interchangeable. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, all those are interchangeable. However, mallow berry is not interchangeable. And I don't know if we have, on the overworld, it seems like those bushes are going to take a little while to grow. Because I was, I was editing down some footage, I think I was, I left it running for like 15 minutes or something like that while I was doing a little bit of um, editing. It wasn't, it wasn't a super amount of time, but it was a little while. Okay, we do have mallow berry in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, and actually I'll tell you what, let me pop back over to... Saris once more and one thing I noticed is the mine factory reloaded stuff all has EMC so we may not even need to automate these upgrades due to that let me go ahead and grab that we'll grab that okay there we go and we're just gonna EMC it might as well but I think we'll set up another berry section and that one's gonna be essence berries and mallow berries is all it's gonna be because I can't think of anything else that we would need in particular. Let's go ahead and there's 38 silver upgrades. Sounds awesome. And then give me some harvesters. There's 53 of those. Okay. So we're pretty well set. Um, those quests, we're already done with all those quests. Yeah, we've already done all those. Um, by the way, block of titan does that not work? Titanium Singularity. Oh, does it have to be that one? Let me pull that off for just a moment. Let me grab this. 
Let me change this over to titanium blocks from another one bites the dust. And then we'll put that right there. Okay, there we go. And we'll go ahead and push that down. And there we go. Okay, so now it's running. That's what we have to do is actually do those titanium blocks instead of the one that we had. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and throw that into here just so we've always got it for later automation purposes. And there we go. Our very first titanium singularity. Whoops. And that means, as far as quest purposes go, we are done with crafting one of each of these singularities. But I've still got some other ones I've got to craft, and I've got to craft a bunch of all of them. But uh, we're, we're on the road to the right. We're on our way. On the right track. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let me throw this stuff into there, that, and I tell you what, let me go ahead and grab our essence berries. Well, no, I'm going to wait on those. I'm not really all that concerned about the essence berries right this second. It's really no rush. So, we'll set this back up and give it that silver upgrade. And then over here, I'm just going to set up another one, basically opposite that. We'll do right there. Silver upgrade. And then I'm just going to connect the conduits up to that other one. So we'll say that you can extract all these active. And then we'll just kind of run those back along through there. And then um, I'm probably going to have to order item conduits, I imagine. And we'll say that you can also extract always active and just run that down through to there okay and then if we just lay out our dirt real quick and I'm gonna need just a bit more all right and since this is only two different types of berries that are gonna go in this I'm just gonna do like basically through here um, yeah from through here and to the left is all going to be mallow berry, and the rest of it's all going to be essence berry for XP generation. So, that'll work. And I, I am planning on glassing these in, basically once everything's put in there, and once I have the time. Because I'm popping around between so many different builds at the moment that a lot of stuff is kind of set on the back burner for a little bit. Um, also, I will say that I disabled mob griefing. I'm hoping that that works. Um, actually, I need to check the Galacticraft core and see if I can just turn off meteor explosions. Because, I mean, I'm getting just non-stop meteors, and it's so annoying because it's literally ripping through my... Yeah, okay. Mob griefing does not work. I'm going to have to check in the config, but when these things are chunk-loaded, it's horrible if there's any kind of block that meteors can destroy. Because, for example... Um, let's pop over to Venus real quick. I'm going to show you guys something. This is awful. And, of course, Venus, actually, my uh, nether bricks can be destroyed. But look at all these meteors. Like, if the area is chunk loaded, it's just meteors just raining down just all the time. It's just, I mean, look at this. And I cleared this off, you know, like an hour or something before starting my recording. I didn't clear out all of that, but I did clear off this roof. Like, it's terrible. It is absolutely terrible, the amount of meteors that just rain down. And the thing is, I don't even need them in this pack. Like, I have no use at all for those. Okay, and if I recall correctly, bone meal... Oh, bone meal does work. Okay. Well, then we can actually just bone meal these. And I can get more sky berries. Okay. That's great. And then I can just set up the sky berries, and I think, I don't know, probably just going to do like diagonal lines like this, down through here with sky berries. That should be fine. It's not like it really matters at the end of the day, but um, one thing I would like to get is mallow berries, because I need, um, I actually need a mallow berry to set the uh, deep storage. Okay, there's some mallow berry that just grow. We'll wait for the harvester to grab it real quick. Alright, look at all the essence berry bushes. 
I'm gonna have some fun setting those up. I'm not gonna need nearly that many, but I'm probably just gonna triple stack them and then like bury them, like make it really really dense with essence berries. Oh, we got more mallow berry growing. The worst thing about having these like larger upgrades is it takes it forever to scan everything, because it scans like one block at a time. Um, but it looks like it just harvested one and it did. Awesome. Okay. And basically that's just something I'm just going to have to let it set for a little while, get the berry bushes grown up. That's why I wanted to start with that. And then uh, next episode we'll start out with the fruit picker and getting the Pam's Harvest Craft trees set up. And then really after that we'll be good to make our ultimate stew. And um, I'm going to try to get singularities crafted between this episode and next. So probably by next episode we'll probably have those as well. And we can make maybe our first eternal singularity or the first few we'll see um, I mean really it's, it's not any kind of effort to craft these it doesn't take any kind of like real work it's really just running stuff through that uh, you know blocks of bedrock through that which I have plenty of I have more than enough of those so All right, mallow berry there you go and then just storage bus okay so that is up and running and I'm going to pop back to the world. I saw my oxygen was just about out. I'll sort that out in just a moment. But anyways, let's pull out our clipboard here, our to-do list. And on this, the... I actually forgot about doing that stuff today. Um, the other berries, we're going to go ahead and mark that off. We've got that done. And actually, charcoal production, I decided I'm just going to EMC that. Because there's really... I mean, if I wanted to produce it, I could. It's just another tree farm, but... Eh. Next episode, whenever we come back, we're going to do Pam's Harvest Craft tree automation and maybe start some Batania automation-ish stuff. It's mainly going to be runes, and then we'll do living wood, living rock automation. Um, and then we'll have to automate... Well, that's the thing. I can't really automate the Elven Portal when it shuts down every time the pack goes off. So, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um... Because that thing, that thing has been frustrating this entire series because it will not stay on. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. I mean, I might be able to use like a mechanical user just to activate it anytime. I don't know. The server comes up. I don't know. I'll figure. I'll see if I can figure out something out or whatever. Um, see if I can fix that problem. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys then.